cooking time! Ah. So today, I'm gonna cook uh, sinigang ipon. Um, and I'm gonna show you the ingredients and how I'm gonna cook it. Okay? So now we're gonna start. Okay? So please enjoy watching. So the ingredients for my uh, sinigang na hipon, of course, the shrimps. And then um, tomatoes. Onions, ginger, and then I have um, basil from my garden, and then the baby spinach, and of course the radish here. And then for to mix to mix the the soup, I usually use. Um, a little of this uh, tamarind base, which is, uh, you can get it from a uh, Filipino store. And then, of course, some salt. And if you see, there's an olive oil. You're going to see how I'm going to cook this uh, sinigang na hipon or shrimp soup. So first, I'm gonna put a little olive oil or any, any oil, guys. So I'm going to sauté it first. That's the onions. But don't put a lot of oil though. Then my ginger. And then your tomatoes. Then you can put a water. I'm gonna put more.
And then let it simmer because after this you're gonna put the radish because I don't want to put I don't want to put the shrimp because you know uh, you, you cannot overcook the shrimp So now I'm going to put um, at least half a teaspoon or it depends because this base, the tamarind base, is a lot of sodium. So watch out with the sodium guys, okay? And then we can put the radish. As I've said, uh, the shrimp will be last. And the spinach. Now I'm going to put the radish. Let it simmer. And then you can also put uh, salt. But don't make it salty. Sodium is not good. If it's a lot of sodium, it's not good. So let, let it simmer. So let it simmer for a while until the radish is um, cooked. Because I don't want to, to put the shrimp at this time because um, the tendency, it will be overcooked. Then you can put also a little salt. So looks like the radish is ready cooked so I'm gonna put now the shrimp but I think um, you don't let it uh, overcook so we'll see what we're gonna do. You have to stir it. I didn't put a lot of soup though. Too much. I don't want, I don't want too much soup also. So 
So let it simmer. And then I can put some basil and spinach. That's the last, um, that's the finale of this sinigang uh, nahipon or shrimp soup. Good. Looks good. So now, looks like the shrimp is already um, cooked because I don't want, as, as, as I've said, I don't want to overcook it. So. So now I'm gonna put the spinach, okay? And my basil, okay? Let's put it there. So this is already cooked, guys. Um, so of course, I don't want also the spinach to be overcooked. So I just do, you know, it's already cooked. I should put a lot of spinach, but it's okay. I still have some there. I can just uh, dump some there to add more. Okay? So this is my sinigang na hipon or shrimp shrimp uh, soup. Taste natin. So this is it. This is already cooked. Okay? So that is the sinigang na hipon or shrimp soup. I may say. Okay? So it's very easy. As long as you have all those uh, ingredients, it's not a problem. And with the vegetables, you can add any vegetables if you want. Okay? But for me, I prefer the radish and the spinach. Okay? So, if you like the video, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And um, always stay tuned in my channel. Okay? So, see you again next time. More cooking. And thank you guys and love you.